Libra, you are a divine entity sent here to create reality, not to accept it. And so there is an aspect of your consciousness right now that is being awakened. And it's awakened to the power of you. What does that mean? It means it's time for you to really believe your beliefs. To physically start to manifest those beliefs into reality by affecting or impacting those aspects of reality that you can control right now making room, making time, um, making resources available for those things that you say to spirit every day, I want this in my life, or not I want this in my life, I welcome and accept the gracious gifts that you send, I welcome and accept the abundance that you send through this. Or I have, as if I already have. It's those intentions that help us center ourselves and our manifestation capabilities. And right now, your manifestation capabilities are super charged. This is a breakthrough energy for you. It is a breakthrough energy that uh, is basically saying your abundance is at hand. It's it's here, it's in your life, it's prepared for you. Um, and it's actually going to start to change and shift to be something that is real. Are you ready for it? I've touched upon this in my daily tarot card readings. I welcome you to join me, please. Those daily tarot card readings happen over on Instagram and you can find me at born underscore, there's my dog, born underscore without underscore boundaries. Monday through Friday, I do live readings, um, general readings, um, morning motivations. We check on the stars together. It's a really great time. So join me. Um, today's daily touched upon this, this energy of um, being afraid of success. And how we push ourselves, basically we get addicted to the challenge. We get addicted to the struggle. We get addicted to the insistence of proving somebody else wrong. But we never really believe that we deserve to be happy. Which is when we allow ourselves to receive the love and the joy that we've created. The space that we've cleared for other people's enjoyment and other people's pleasure. And um, maybe those entertainment things. Maybe we've written books or we dance or something like that. We've created space to for others to enjoy. But when is that moment we allow ourselves to be present and brave enough to open up our hearts and receive that love and joy ourselves. Accepting that we did it. It's here. Because that's the moment that we're that that's here for us now is we did it, we're we're here. Um, this is kind of opening your heart up to. I'm asking you to come with me on this journey, Libra, to open up your sensibilities and see, um, like let let go of the expectations, let go of your burdens, go somewhere you wouldn't plan to go right now um take a chance that you wouldn't take normally take but but you'll feel yourself divinely called to take it it won't just be some random thing that popped into your head you'll find yourself um let yourself be carried and led by your whimsical um your whimsical fancies right now allow yourself to um trust in the world around you. This is your channeled message for people who are wondering. I have cards in front of me, so we'll go over your oracle cards. That's the second part of your reading. And then the third part of your reading is animal totem messages. So 
those those messages that you'll be getting straight from animal totems that you'll probably the animal totems you're probably running into in this energy right now uh, as well as a, uh, messages direct from your angels um, and then there's always the extended which is the full tarot card spread uh, that articulates the specifics and the details of all of this very philosophical, esoteric messages, those are the specifics. And then that includes a two-in-one reading, um, the tarot card reading extended, and then the Libra romance reading for this week. So that's always in the extended, that link is below. Uh, you can always subscribe over on Vimeo too. And if you do, it's free, so no big deal. Um, you can you get access to the extendeds about a day before the link pops up here, FYI. Um, you know, in other words, what, what spirit is saying to you, Libra, right now is, baby, you said you believe in it. You pray for it all the time. You light candles. You manifest. But have you made space? Tell me that this isn't funny. I wonder if you guys have heard this, actually. I heard when I was young that... Um, if you were a single woman, you, if you are no, not just a single woman, single people need to need, if they don't want to be single, they need to get themselves a king size bed. That's what I heard because a full size bed, there's not enough room for another adult. So it, this is the kind of space clearing that I'm talking about. And it, it seems silly, but it's not. It's like, how do you start, you yourself, through your own personal choices, start to impact your physical world for what you are manifesting? Like, that's the, that's the other side. If you feel like there's a stall in your manifestations right now, I just saw some like dust fly by. That was weird. It was an orb. God bless. Um... If you feel some sort of manifestations that like, like the manifestations have slowed down, basically what is happening is it's clogged. This is a way to unclog it, to start making space in your life for what you say you want in your life just to start welcoming into your life this new circumstance, this new situation, you have to make actual space for it. Like if you say that you your goal is to be a lawyer or a doctor, then it's necessary to start making, not, not just uh, applying for law school or researching, because that's still contemplating. This is actually making the decision to start rearranging your work schedule so that you have time to take at least four classes a semester. This is you actually saying, I'm putting aside this space. I'm dedicating this much energy all the time to the reality of this accepting the reality of this because that's really what's been going on if you've been blocked <laughs> that's wonderful if you've been blocked somehow or you feel like you've been blocked or you feel like you can almost feel like it's here right you can almost feel it you can feel like it's close but you're just like why can't I touch it yet it's because it's not fully realized it doesn't have space to come into your life yet because now you have to make it. Listen to this because there's a repeating pattern in all these cards. Confidence is your key to success. This is Leo energy. It's following your, your heart energy. It's following that energy that, 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 that persists beyond time and space that says this is what you're drawn to do. It's what you're meant to do. Have confidence in it. How much, but how much faith do you have in it, if all you're doing is continuing to pray and manifest and pray and manifest and not taking action every day to basically make make room for it and 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 make it real. This is that sense of of having enough confidence to make those sacrifices and make that space, right? How much do you really believe in this? Because it's not just about lighting the candle or saying the prayer or manifesting through mantra every day. It's about saying, I believe in this enough to invest in a king size bed. I believe in this enough to uh, make, make some space in my room for another person. Like, I believe in this enough to just start prepping for when they get here. Your dreams need a practical plan. And this is, this is it. 
You also have these cards, Believe in Your Dreams. This whole reading sits on this card, Believe in Your Dreams. But this is your dreams need a practical plan. It's Taurus energy. It's financial resources. Your dreams need you to make your dreams tangible. They need you to dedicate your tangible 3D earnings and resources toward this actually being true. And this is the time for you to do it because this is a time when spirit is listening and saying, oh, Libra must have been serious, right? Because now I'm you're clearing space. You that you already have it in theory. No, you already have it um, in truth. But now it's like, okay, but a spirit is like, how do I get it to you in the 3D world? Where do I fit it? How do I put it? Where do I put it? It's at, You're the 3D representative of spirit in your world. You have to take this responsibility onto yourself and make the fucking room. Your commitment is being tested. This isn't in a bad way. It's just almost saying not even... Per, not even um, purposely a test, but a sense of um, maybe frustration that you've been getting recently because, you know, you've been manifesting so hard and nothing has been coming and you're, but, but it's like, how committed you are, are you to this? Show me, show me through, through tangible things because you want it in the 3D, right? So you can't just keep lighting candles. You now have to start lighting the proverbial um, candles by lighting your energy and lighting your space and lighting your resources not really no one's burning anything but i'm just saying you know what i'm saying it's like you have to make that room now check out these messages well oh, check out these messages this this is really beautiful these are really cute i will hope right so this is almost like really connecting to spirit and looking up this is this is spirit telling you right here right now libra hope for the best because the blessings are coming to you they're already yours. And then I will fight, which is literally like putting your money where your mouth is and insisting upon this and being brave. That's what it is. It's deciding to be brave even when you're scared. Even when you can open, even when you'd be opened up for ridicule and even when you'd be opened up for failure, I'm going to have the strength to fight for this no matter what. I will battle anything. That's how committed I am to this. I will encourage. So this is you and how you've cleared out space for everybody else, uh, how you love and how you share love and and how you, you sort of like um, connect with others to help encourage or inspire the best in them. And now it's a, a sort of a sense of, it, it, it's helping something small grow. Something that wants to be bigger, helping it be bigger, right? Encourage these manifestations to come into your life. I will rejoice. You're going to be happy. You're going to be, this is some good news coming in. You're going to like your life. It's your manifestations are absolutely coming to you. And then I will worship is you about to get down on your knees and say, thank you you God because you've just gotten your prayers answered this is all telling me your prayers are about to be answered be very very connected right now Libra to where you're drawn to go like take that trip or go to that unknown restaurant or um you know uh you know I don't know like call into that radio talk show or if you are if you feel something on a whim it's like a whisper that comes through your heart follow it trust it it's carrying you to where you actually want to be and it's all yeah yeah this is th these cards came up and made me realize basically what the whole reading was about was um sort of like what's impeding your luck what are the burdens what are, what's stopping up your luck and how do you unstop it believe in your dreams and just go ahead and have fun with it as if it's already here. Like you're so lighthearted should you be that you're allowing it in every day of your life. It's almost like, do -de do -de do let me, um, you know, um, let me make this space in, in my partner's closet or, or do -de do -de do you know, let me, um, 
um, get a minivan if I if I invest in a minivan because I know that I want children, even if you don't have a spouse. You know, it's kind of like those things. Just be whimsical and be fantastical, but be it out loud and start making that space for it and go with the flow. It's almost like, listen, your life is about to have a serious fucking breakthrough. This is the moment when the tides turn. This is the moment when things change, reality shifts. This tells us you've, you're done with one aspect of your life. You're done with that hard fight. You're done with the manifestation. Now it's time to make space for the truth, the reality that's coming into your life. Now it's time. You have to, at some point, let it shift from just concept into reality. This is that time of shifting. Look in the mirror is saying... Whatever's holding you back is actually coming from within you, not externally. It's not that God doesn't want to give it to you or the world is unfair to you. It's that you're still blocked somehow in all that you are. In, uh, and, and, and that's what needs to be addressed before your, before your big breakthrough is how you're blocking yourself and the choices that you're making to deny yourself of what you really deserve. And it, it's about getting honest with yourself and seeing those truths. So allow yourself to be volatile. Allow yourself to be wrong. When you're wrong out loud, then you can see it. And if you can see it, you can fix it. You know, it's like if you suppress it or suppress who you are because you're so sort of obsessed with, you know, being the best of you, that you're not all of you, you have to be all of you and love all of you all the time. This is the key card here, create space. So basically get ready for your life to change. Look in the mirror to see how you've been blocking your own abundance because that's the spirit saying, it, I want to, it wants to come through for you, right? And then clear space, actually make room. Are you ready for that partner? then go on out and get your king size bed. I thought to myself immediately when I read the meaning of this card, I thought, oh, I am ready for a partner. I should, cause you see, I have one nightstand over here. That's my nightstand, right? But I don't have any nightstand on the other side. It's like, I have to make room. I have to, if, if, if somebody's gonna be sleeping on the other side, I should have a nightstand on the other side, shouldn't I? And that's immediately what I thought, Michelle, you gotta go out and buy yourself a nightstand for that side. Okay, it's so simple and you think, oh, that's, but see, it's not hard. It's really just believing in it so much that you start living it tangibly, right? Um, communicate with spirit. This is how you're communicating with spirit. That's how spirit is asking you to communicate through the physical world now. Tell us where we're making room, where we're prepping. You know what I'm saying? Like where, where, okay, where, where, spirit is literally like saying, where do you want me to put it? Like they're the people holding your couch, right? That new couch, like, like, do you want it here? Do you want it here? Do you want, like, where do I put this? Oh, you, like show me the space in your life so I can please stop carrying your abundance around on me, right? I want you to have it, but you have to show me where do I put it? right? And then sparkle and shine, which is be brave, be bold, and let yourself out loud every day. Be your full self, never doubting, never thinking to yourself, people won't love me. They will love you. They want to love you. They are looking for you. So you need to keep sparkling and shining and, and being the spotlight. Don't let them ignore you. Always show up like, of course you want me. Of course I'm your choice. It's not arrogance. It's And you're not even saying it. You're just like emoting it. Emoting this, I can do anything. Here I am. I am the reality. I am the real deal. And never letting anybody for one second doubt it. But once again, it's not arrogance. You know, it's and it's more than confidence. It's being so connected with the truth of who you are you don't make any attempts to block that or hide it. So this was your oracle reading. Now we're going to go on to your animal totem reading. If you like this reading, please show me that you like it by liking it. 
And then also click that link below. Also, no, share it on your social media platforms because that really spreads the word around about Born Without Boundaries. And then click that link, subscribe below, and then hit all notifications on that bell below so that you know when I upload all of the um, your favorite content. The Libra-specific content comes out every single Tuesday along with Scorpio and Sagittarius. Um, every single Tuesday before 6 a.m. But don't just watch your sun sign. You want a real well-rounded message. Watch your sun, rising, and moon signs every week. And then check out the other videos. You'll get all those notifications as soon as I upload them. Um, these are not time-sensitive readings, but they are readings that come out new every week. So get it while it's hot. Speaking of that, there's always an extended reading. It's it, The link is below and it includes two readings, an extended tarot card reading, which I'm no joke. Sometimes it gets so specific. It gives you the details that these readings don't give you. It gets more specific and more personal. And then the second part is a romance specific reading and prediction for this, this time, this energy. So those are two readings in one, and that link is below. You can also subscribe over there on Vimeo for free. And if you do, you'll get access, you'll get notified as soon as I upload the extendeds. And that's about a day before they come out here through a link. So you'll have, you'll have access to them before. Um, also join me on Instagram. So you can find me at born underscore without underscore boundaries for Monday through Friday, a live reading, a tarot card reading, a general reading, a morning motivation, and also checking in with the stars together. We just have some great conversations and it's a wonderful get together. So join me. Now let's get into your animal totem messages. Animal totem, animal totem. So you are primed. Literally, spirit is like, your furniture has arrived. Where do you want me to put it? Libra, where do you want me to put your abundance? Now you just have to show them. Oh, I want my abundance here. Oh, I want my abundance here. Like show them where you want your, your abundance. Like if you want your abundance in education, register for those college classes. If you want your abundance in your career, go in and like start making space, even start making space in your expenses, like making room for make more money. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Sometimes, and I don't mean to, I don't want you to, I don't want you to say this because like, I don't want to encourage you to do irresponsible things with money, but it's almost like if you really feel like buying it, buy it. Stop worrying about the money if you know that you are making space for making more. That kind of energy, it seems counterproductive, but ultimately, if you're, if you're not worried about money because you know it's going to come in, more is going to come in. It's that kind of mentality. So we have um watch your words so it's almost like don't watch your words at all just say what you say there's a lot of uh, verbal truth coming out right now with a lot of people and ultimately the truth is it could get harsh and it could get raunchy um so know this as an air sign it may be just something that you have to go through right it doesn't mean that everything is off or bad it just means that know that this is what's going to be happening right now um and then the miracles are endless yeah it's interesting it's almost like by not watching your mouth you open up doors for yourself just let people know what you want right now don't be sort of um don't be self-conscious with your words or don't don't edit yourself just be exactly what you are. And even though that may in some ways piss some people off, it will actually end up bringing in a lot of abundance and, um, you know, respect for you. And then wasp. So sometimes life stings is here. Wasp energy is scorpionic energy. It teaches us lessons. It's like, has the pain taught you enough? Are you done yet? When are you going to basically... Um, I guess not give the wasp shit to fly around. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like there is something that you're doing that's attracting these flies, right? So it's like clean your shit up. Um, it's also a sense of sometimes life stings. Yeah, life, life, there might be an abundance of criticism right now or opening yourself up to criticism or your fear of opening yourself up to criticism. This is a necessary step in your progress. It's also a necessary step of 
this is who I am and I am ready for more because if I want more, I'm going to be criticized more and I have to show that I can take it. Um, and then slow and steady wins the race. This is rushing in. This is like things are speeding up and, uh, and you're, you're emotionally prepared for it. Um, trust in divine detours. This is almost like being afraid or, um, it's almost saying you don't have to go anywhere. That's what this is saying. You don't have to go anywhere. You, you can like overcome any obstacles by what you have right now. You already have everything that you need. You just have to use it in the right ways. Let's get into your angel messages. Peace. No matter where you are or what you're doing, inner peace is always possible. All it takes is a subtle shift in awareness. There's some, did you see that? It was a little feather. All it takes is a subtle shift in awareness. Think love and peace will follow. It's like Libra. You're, you got, like, this is it. You got this. This is all fucking good things. All good things. This part of your life of wanting and desiring and desperately seeking or needing or praying, it's over. But it's almost like now make room for it to be over. You've said your prayers. Now just give spirit time to fulfill them. Adventure. Instead of seeing the current situation as an, an obstacle, try seeing it as an adventure. Explore all the possibilities. There are many more than you currently imagine. Instead of seeing things as either black or white, try to explore all the colors in between. Ooh, heart and soul. When making your decision, take into account what your heart and soul are saying. Sometimes the mind can deceive us. Choose through love, not fear. Let's go to the videotape. The link for the extended is below. Let's see what Tarot has to reveal. I'll see you guys there.